Hey everyone, this is Jason Vaughn with Life After the Before Photo coming at you today with a special video on some of my favorite books. These are some of the, I've been reading business books, thankfully, since I was in high school. I got involved in an in MLM in high school, and the best thing I got out of that was to learn to have a mentor in my life at all times and to read. Uh, I made a little bit of money in, in that business, but the most important thing was reading and having uh, someone to mentor you no matter what you were doing in your life. So that is what I'm very uh, pleased to bring you today, some of my favorite uh, business books and some of the and some of the other books that I just really enjoy and I would encourage you to read. Obviously, links down below if you want to check out affiliate links, but more importantly, just these are things for you to uh, have in your own library to read over time. I like them. I've had them. some of them in Audible, audiobooks, and I've had some of them that uh, I pass along over time and will buy new copies or I'll buy copies of these to give to people. Um, Let's start out with, let's see, I'm not, these are in no particular order because I'm just pretty much grabbing from a stack here. And the first one is, actually it's not, it's, it's Breakthrough by James O'Keefe. Uh, and this one is, do I have it? This is my autograph copy. Oh, I think I gave my autograph copy away. Anyway, um, I happened to be in uh, D.C. at a party and a friend of James's had a bunch of autographed copies of these and I was reading my copy at the same time. So she gave me another copy with the uh, with the autographed version in it, and I, but I gave that away to my roommate. And um, But this is a great uh, book. If you remember, he's with Project Veritas. Even if you're, if you're not political at all, I think he goes into a great deal about storytelling and, and, and some in politics here. But mainly, I, I think he's a great, he talks... He gives a great um, rundown of how to tell a good story and how to get attention in the news and to make sure that your point is getting across. Um, yes, a lot, he gets beat up a lot because his videos are edited and they try to put things in there that are a little, that get people to watch. But he also puts in there that his same evidence uh, on a separate video, he'll put like the full coverage and everything in there so you know uh, it's not edited out of context. But I uh, highly recommend this breakthrough, especially this goes after his earlier work, where I think he was much more popular a few years ago in his work with Andrew Breitbart, who I am a, hu I'm a huge fan of. still miss Andrew um, to this day. <clears throat> and all right, next book is Contagious. I will be honest, I stole this book. Um, this book I've bought at a... Um, I, well, I, I got at a hotel uh, when I was in Maui. I was continuing to read it, and I accidentally packed it away and kept reading it on the plane. But it's a great um, book about how ideas spread and how to get your ideas to spread. This is by Jonah Berger, uh, Contagious. The Traveler's Gift, and really, really anything by uh, Andy, Andy uh, Andrews. Uh, he's a primarily Christian business speaker. He's in that kind of world, but um, he does. I mean, stop buying the book. Get the audio books because Andy does does them himself, and he does voices in them. But they're not cheesy. They're so moving. They're so well done. I love every one of them, and a lot of them have uh, built. They're, they're very biographical. They're, they have a lot of history built into them. So check that out. But the Traveler's Gift is just a phenomenal, is, is probably the top in Andy Andrews' uh, books. But really, just anything that he does. And there's also a sequel to this, um, Andy, uh, the, Traveler's, the Traveler's Gift, The Traveler Returns. Uh, Go for No. This is a business book about uh, making sure you are at, you're going for no. You're counting your no's. You're not counting how many times you sold something. You're counting how many no's you got. Because if you get enough no's and you know how many no's you got, you'll know eventually what it takes to get to a yes. Uh, so it, it's a great uh, system there for for helping you get to that point. And I believe this one is actually written, this has been a while, uh, written in fiction, um, or written in a, a, a narrative standpoint, much like Andy Andrews books. I appreciate those more than anything, or at least the beginning of it is. But um, I like when business books are written uh, in a narrative form, um, because I don't read a lot of narratives, and I really should. <clears throat> Martha's Rules. So if you don't know You'll get to know me. I am a big Martha Stewart fan. 
I have none of her talents and none of her gifts, but she is innocent. She did not deserve to go to jail. She uh, was put up there as a, a they, they wanted to put somebody in there as, as a, um, they wanted to make an example of somebody. So they put Martha in there and it was not right. All she did was do exactly what she was told. She bought stock when she was told to buy it. She had no actual, anyway, <clears throat> But I love Martha. Martha wrote this book right when she got out of prison. And so it tells a little bit about her stay in prison and then her 10 rules for running businesses. But Martha is amazing. This is my favorite book uh, of hers, The Martha Rules. Check it out. And, um, you know, I believe that Martha should be pardoned. The Slight Edge. Um, and I, I really enjoy this one. Uh, it's been I really need to read this one again. But it's just a way of thinking, and um, who's this one by? Jeff Olson, uh, about making sure that you, you're consistently getting just a little bit ahead. And if you always have that little bit of an edge, you're, you can ultimately, you'll ultimately win. But, um, and he talks about different ways to, to do that. But um, The Slight Edge, again, this is one I really need to read again. It's been a while, but uh, that's a great book. Uh, this one's uh, different from in this series. It's called Presto. It's Penn Jillette's book, How uh, how I Made 100 Pounds Disappear and Other Magical Tales. So this is when he lost uh, 100 pounds, and he did this through Nutritarian Diet. Um, and I love this book because, um, uh, well, first off, Penn Jillette's a great storyteller, and uh, uh, but he also um, is a... Uh, but, and so I, I would did not I tried to do what he did in here to lose weight. It was not for me. It was and again I, I talk about that when trying to lose weight. You got to figure out what works for you. Um, I'd probably be a lot more down, but uh, weight down than uh, I am now. But I'm only I'm 45 pounds now, and um, but it's okay because I'm still losing weight, and this is what encouraged me to lose weight. Uh, it didn't encourage me to do it how he did it, but it encouraged me to do it. And uh, there's one, the section in here that is, uh, that's tied, the, the reason I bought this book primarily is section three, eating pizza is voting for Hillary. So I love this book. It's just fun, hilarious all over. And yes, of course, he makes fun. This is after his appearance on Celebrity Appear, uh, Apprentice twice. So yes, he does make fun of Donald Trump in there as well. So he, he lambasts everybody. Uh, fellow, um, well, he's a big L libertarian. I'm a little L libertarian. Um, the greatest salesman in the world, really anything by Og Mandino is a great, uh, another fiction type storytelling book. Really enjoy uh, this. This one's based around the time of Christ. So uh, excellent. And some, a couple things that are just interwoven in there and told in that um, kind of um, turn, turn of the uh millennial to well two millennials ago kind of thing um the pursuit if you were like a, a quote hog then this is a great book this is written by dexter yeager who was big in amway and it's really just a quote after quote after quote kind of thing um where he just he goes over it you can just highlight it and, and it's almost like you can just pick it up and read a sentence i hear some of the ones i have highlighted uh, an uncommon mentor will become an enemy of to the enemies of his protege. An uncommon mentor can create uncommon protege. A protege is an obedient learner. True success will produce a successor. You will only remember what you teach another. And those are just some of the highlights on one page in here. And I highlighted a lot when I started this book. And then I just got, I was like, oh, I might as well just highlight the whole book. Because it's that, it's just a, it's a good quote book in a lot of ways. It doesn't have a good flow if you're looking for that, but just picking up, it's kind of, it's very encouraging in that way. Um, you've heard me talk about this in another uh, video, the 12 week year. This is uh, how I plan my goals out for this year and really enjoyed that. And we're getting near the end. Oh, is that it? Um, uh, obviously classic think and grow rich uh, napoleon hill how do you not read this you know multiple times in your life preferably like once a year if at all possible and i think my last book is this one stephen pressfield the war of art and just an amazing amazing book about the resistance 
and um, not like the political resistance, just the resistance in art that tries to keep you down, that tries to keep you from doing things. Um, I will say the reading book one in here um, is the most important, and reading it multiple times is the most important. Uh, I don't know. The, the second part, kind of, I, I didn't, it, it, it lost me a little bit. But by far, the, the book one in here is phenomenal. And, you know, when it, when it comes to books, don't, don't think you have to read the whole thing. And I've got, oh, I've got to buy the book. I've got to, if I don't read the whole thing, it's not going to be worth it. Look, if you get a $100 idea out of a $3 book or a $20 book, you know, and you, in one chapter, you've made your money back in that. Uh, not that ROI is that simple when when it comes to learning, but don't think you have to read the entire book. You can read snippets of a book and get what out of it what you need, and then you can come back at other times and read some more and get more out of it. But those are some of my favorite books. Every few years, I'm not a person that keeps books forever. I will go through them. These I've had on the shelf for several years, so... That means I, uh, I, I definitely um, go through these more, and we'll, we'll, or as you can tell, some of them, I'll buy new copies. Uh, I bought another copy of uh, The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. Um, and just because I have them doesn't mean, some of them I've only read once, some of them I'll read multiple times, like Martha's Rules, I've read at least three, four times. Uh, Think and Grow Rich, I've read four or five times. But find those books that really encourage you, inspire you, you learn from. These are some of my favorite ones, and I hope you will, uh, will some of these will, you'll take away. And I want to hear in the comments, what's your favorite book? Either, even if it's fiction, because I really want to get more into fiction, um, especially with Audible books. But what's your favorite fiction book? What's your favorite business book down below? Please leave a comment. Like, subscribe, share, and subscribe. And I really appreciate you guys, and I will be back with you tomorrow. Hey, did you guys like that video? Well, make sure you subscribe right here. I think it's right here. Maybe it's right here. I don't know. It's here or here, somewhere. And then here and here, there's a playlist and a video. Make sure to watch those. They have some great information, and you'll have a lot of fun watching them. So make sure to check them out. Thanks a lot. See you soon.